Hello, my name is Mikołaj Komisarek and I represent ITT from Poland. The presentation is going to be about network intrusion detection in the wild, the orange use case in the CIMARC project. Let me tell you what this presentation is about. First of all, I will talk about the CIMARC project and I will try to explain what is it and what is our involvement. Then I will introduce our team who participate participant in the development of this article and I will tell you about ITT company. Uh, we will then move on the more substantive part of the presentation where I will present the data set on which the research was developed. The next point will be to present the network structure from which the data was extracted and then I will introduce and talk about the tool that we developed and present the steps of data preparation and model training. Finally, I will, I will present the results and summarize the whole presentation. This work was done in Horizon 2020 project called CMARC. The shortest possible description of what it is, it's about combat depression problem of malware. It's aimed to tackle new challenges in the cybersecurity field, including information hiding methods, network anomalies, Stregor manuale, ransomware, and mobile malware. CIMARC will offer an integrate and validate toolkit improving European cybersecurity. At the cutting edge of the proposed solution stems from the development of more general approach, one that has the ability to concurrent the new complex malware. This is the team that was involved in this project. Michal and Rafał have incredible experience and they are also professor. Marek is an experienced PhD who deals mainly with cyber security and I am a PhD student. We have experience in a wide range of European funded projects and by wide range I mean that the moment we suppose probably nine projects. Our area of interest are machine learning and pattern recognition, data mining and analysis. Various aspects of our cyber security and info security. This paper was co authored by Adrian Marzec and Mikołaj Kowalski from Orange. We had the pleasure of working with representatives of Orange. They provide a lot of valuable knowledge and experience and create an amazing collection of network data. So we at ITTEI are most or less a soft house with an array indeed with we could be described as small of medium enterprise made up of about 19 individuals with a range of certificates across the world from the management to enterprise architecture to information security and we mainly to development of custom software solution and innovative application along with affiliate R&D for our work in an, uh, an European Commission framework programs we have received the Crystal Brussel Prize three times and a prize for outstanding performance in R&D prize pro for the AID. I will skip the membership in the international bodies. Thanks to the cooperation with one of the world leading telecommunication solution provider, Orange, we have gained access to the large amount of network data. The data format we work on was based on IPFIX and JFlow. The whole schema contains 13 unique features shown in the visible table. Uh, in addition to informative features such as source and destination address or ports, the feature also presents values such as the number of bytes or packets transmitted in a given frame, uh, divided into incoming and outgoing traffic. Um, thanks to the expert at Orange, in the first iteration, we received target data that determined the type of traffic being infected or not. And this allowed us to teach the model accurately. And the rest of the traffic, on the other hand, is streamed live to the Kafka topic. The structure of Orange Network is shown in the visible picture. The TFNet IS 5617 is the Orange Poland backbone network. It consists of the numerous routers and has several entry points called upstream links. As can be seen in the figure, two upstream services provide our proving connectivity with the other autonomous system. Total aggregated capacity of these uplinks is measured in terabit scale. Are two some indicators of attack 
mostly coming from misconfigured subscriber device can be seen inside the network. Inside the network, we believe that the most threats come from uplinks between systems. This is the source of the data for analysis in this paper. There are currently seven routers in the network that provide upstream connectivity that enable acquisition uh, IP fixed JFlow. Data was generated directly from production ingress traffic. The router was running on the June OS platform with a 2000 size sample ratio on each interface. The Big Data Engine is a tool which offers a wide variety of modular solutions to create complex machine learning environments. The ent entire environment consists of database storage, software boost and visualization, and of course our engine. Uh, the core of BD is written in the Scala language and based on the most popular open source library Apache Spark. Uh, thanks, to, thanks to the search approach, we are able to use all of the features and extensions offered by the Spark platform and extend its capability with additional new modules with easy configuration on the whole environment. The main advantages are the scalability of the solution, utilizing a multiple Spark worker and splitting the task into different servers. Other benefits are fault tolerance capability because of immutable primary abstraction name, RDD. The entire environment consists of the following required components, which communicate with one another. The following tool consists of a few Spark workers with a list one master, three or more broker of Apache Kafka and several install of Elastic Search with Kibana and one storage by Minio uh, software. Apache Kafka is distributed streaming platform. This means it's handle receiving, validating, transformating and sending message among application. The main advantages of Kafka are, are its reliability, performance and the ability to work in distributed environment. Apache Kafka was integrated in the Big Data Engine in order to deliver data from various sources into the preprocessor, which process and prepare data for machine learning. The next element in the environment is the Elasticsearch Data Database. Elasticsearch is distributed open source search and analysis engine for all types of data, which allow for collecting large amount of existing data from database. The first step in the process of preparing the final data shape is feature selection. As name suggests, feature selection is about choosing from among all features only this that contribute to the effectiveness of the model. Feature selection reduces the computational cost as well as in many cases improves the model performance. For this research, the select key best method was used for feature selection with the results function set to G squared. The result of this stage can be observed in the graph. The algorithm indicates five features to be taken into account for further research and the other to be discarded. The next stage was to balance the data appropriately as amount of non-infected traffic was significantly higher than traffic with anomalies. To solve the imbalance issue, smooth technique was used at the preparation stage Smooth is the most commonly used oversampling method. It's aimed to balance the class distribution by increasing the minority class instance with the use of adaptation of the nearest uh, neighborhood algorithm. After the dataset was balanced, uh, samples were subjected to the standardization process. The value were standardized by removing mean and scaling unit variance with the use of scalar and standard scalar. The mainly consistent in our test, we have centered and scaled the feature also for the decision based method, even to through random forest can handle both scaled and unscaled feature. And finally, the traffic label was changed to the numeric value using the hot encoding um, technique. In this paper, we have a standard set of well known metrics. Was used to evaluate the approach. Um, it's 
occurrence if precision recall Q1 score, multi correlation coefficient, and balance accuracy. Uh, the metric I'll calculate with use of the confusion matrix. In the remaining part of the research, the focus was on utilizing the following machine learning methods Deep Neural Network, the Random Forest Classifier, the Adaboost Classifier, and Gradient Boost Trees Classifier. The choice of this, this algorithm were dedicated by the following factors. Random Forest has been proved in multiple studies on network attack and its performance was always high and results were satisfactory. The gradient boost trees algorithm combined the advantages of random forest with the added benefit of gradient utilization. Efficient neural networks were used because they have been proved to continue learning even when the other method reached their full potential. Um, this adding efficient ne neural network can be good opportunity to improve results with large amount of data. The, um, other boost algorithm was selected to check its potential in the real world implementation of NEEDS components in CMR codec. The algorithm is fast, simple to use, and does not extend hyperparameter tuning. Performing tests on four models with the same set of collected data from the telecom operation Orange. The best result was achieved by random forest algorithm with efficient of about 91% and the second was a gradient boost tree with accuracy of about 88% and before the last was a neural network with accuracy of 86 and the last was a Adaboost classifier um, with 85% accuracy. In summary, it was presented to a novel approach to the concept of engine that allowed the integration of ready-made components to create software that enable easy create a stream in Kafka topic and implement one of many machine learning algorithms, create alert on view visualization and then transfer the result to the database. Moreover, we provide proved that from the data collected from the Orange partner, the random forest algorithm has been the best efficiency. In the long term, we assume a development in the area of network training from live stream and adding a management interface. Moreover, future work is dedicated to, to future improvement toward integrating more machine learning concepts and algorithms. Thank you very much for your attention. This work is partially funded under CIMARC project, which has received funding from European Union Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme.